Hello, my name is Dr. Gonzalez. I am internal medicine board certified. Uh, Alzheimer's disease uh, is been becoming uh, more and more a burden for the life of the patients and caregivers in our society nowadays. In fact, in the United States, about uh, 5 million people have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and is expected to keep increasing. The, um, in the recent years, uh, the cardiovascular cost of uh, death for patients has decreased by 14%. On the other hand, the, the death due to Alzheimer's disease has increased by 89%. Uh, currently, uh, in the United States, there is a new patient with Alzheimer's disease diagnosed every 66 seconds. Uh, in the recent years, uh, there has been a better understanding of the pathophysiology for Alzheimer's disease. Therefore, scientists uh, have developed a new treatment and clinical trials with potential treatment uh, for Alzheimer's disease are in the horizon now. Uh, I think it's very important for the patient to be part of this. It's uh, going to be likely a potential, potential help for the patient that will participate in the study and also for our society as a new treatment can emerge for this devastating disease that is Alzheimer's disease. Well, um, the, the, the best way of slow, in slowing down the disease is basically getting to know that the, the patient itself recognizes the symptoms early rather than the, late on the disease. Uh, the, that's why uh, the current trials that we're having nowadays target the patients with early, early dementia stage, early Alzheimer's, rather than when it's advanced that usually at this point the, there is not much that it, it can be done. Well, uh, because it's a big burden for family members when patients start like, with symptoms of memory loss, uh, what we do is well, we encourage the family members to uh, that early recognize the symptoms that patient is not acting like themselves, is to right away to acknowledge that patient is acting different and talk to their doctor and see what options available you know, there might be out there for the patients. Uh, one of the top 10 cause of death in America, actually it's number six nowadays. In the next 20 years, it's become like top three, like third cause of death in this country. Uh, right now, we have a great opportunity that better understanding of the mechanism of action of the medications targeting the, the, these um, proteins that cause uh, the Alzheimer's disease and uh, we encourage the patient to be part of this as this is going to offer uh, a new treatment for the future and likely uh, it's going to be a better quality of life for the patients and their caretakers. They're, they're, for the people that are they're, they're started to have symptoms of Alzheimer's dementia, we have available these clinical trials with potential medication that may, might be the future and we encourage the patient to participate uh, Currently, the study lasted for about, it can, depends on the study, it can last up to two years, but uh, usually patients have the treatment uh, with no cost and also the evaluation or the assessment of the um, specialist, uh, such as in the internal medicine doctor or the neurologist or psychiatrist, and that way the patient is being followed with close with the actual uh, uh, medical assessment and also the, 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 head, the tests for the head, such as MRI, PET scan. Uh, that's one way that the patient can help themselves and they can help society as well, trying to find a solution for, for this, this uh, devastating disease. I would say uh, there is a great chance that we are uh, aiming for that. Um, maybe not 10 years, it might take uh, even 20, uh, 15 years or, or maybe less, you know. But I think this is a great promising, uh, there is a, out there, there is a, a, a lot of um, new therapy, therapeutic areas that have been assessed now uh, by pharmaceutical companies um, and there is a great hope for peoples and families uh, of patients with dementia. At, at least in the next five years, I would say, um, there will be some sort of uh, cure or, or something to alleviate the symptoms of Alzheimer's. 
I would like to talk a little bit about uh, Alzheimer's disease from my own perspective as an internist and as an intensivist as well, because I do see the unfortunate uh, consequences of advanced Alzheimer's disease in the intensive care unit where patients, unfortunately, they succumb to the complication of uh, aspiration pneumonia, decubitus ulcers, and they die from this complication. I would like to talk to you about uh, the importance of early recognition of uh, Alzheimer's disease at this early stage where we're hoping that this might be the potential window of treatment for this disease that otherwise has no effective treatment for as of now in 2017. Uh, therefore, uh, I would like to put an emphasis that uh, Alzheimer's disease is not part of normal aging. It is a pathological condition and uh, it's very important that we all in the community know the early symptoms of it so that we recognize it early and hopefully might be have the patient get the that chance of treatment and if you have a family member who has been having forgetful has been having change in their uh, cognition you need to encourage them to talk to their physician because they might be having early Alzheimer's disease and uh, they might benefit from treatment. So unfortunately Alzheimer's disease has a relentless uh, progressive nature and as it progresses, it causes uh, a big burden on the family as far as the patients uh, having disability, whether it's ambulatory dysfunction, whether it's ability to feed, for them, feed themselves or care for themselves, and it's become a big burden on the family to take care of their beloved one, and that's when they get uh, referred to uh, assisted living facility or nursing home. Unfortunately, if Alzheimer's disease is at that advanced uh, uh, stage, then there's nothing much can be done and unfortunately we see the complication that lead to the patient uh, demise, which uh, namely the aspiration pneumonia at the patient, they cannot uh, swallow and eat okay and then they also have malnutrition because of lack of appropriate feeding. And therefore we're trying to put an emphasis here that not waiting for too, or when it's too late and there's no treat potential treatment that can be offered at that point. I think patients should, uh, patient with early Alzheimer's disease should participate in trial because there is, uh, we know as of now that there is no if treatment effective whatsoever and unfortunately the uh, consequences of progressive Alzheimer's disease are uh, quite uh, uh, remarkable on the, on the, and has a huge impact on the, not only on the, on the patient uh, quality of life and life expectancy, but also on the families uh, and their, uh, who's actually caring for the patient. And we're trying to educate the community so that they refer the patient to, uh, to, these, uh, to potential these trials so that hopefully they have a chance. If this is potentially promising drug that might work, we're hoping that that would be the case and uh, it's being studied, but if, if the patient doesn't participate, there's nothing else that can be potentially done to halt the progression of the disease. And I think that would be one chance for both the patient. And hopefully, in the last 10 years, we have now have better understanding of the disease progression and the disease pathophysiology. And we're hoping that with the new treatment now we have, we're hoping that th this will be if, uh, efficacious and safe treatment for those patients with this condition. Uh, so that is what is being studied right now. Uh, it's still, again, I, I want to emphasize that this is still in the uh, investigational uh, phase, uh, but so far the data has been promising to move forward and uh, try to apply the potential uh, treatment on, on more patients. Uh, we're hoping that, that now we understand the, the pathophysiology of the disease, that we might be able to cause a, a, a bigger impact on the uh, functionality and the patient cognition. But again, we still don't have much data uh, that I can give right now, but, but again, we know that this is a progressive disease and something that needs to be done as opposed to just let the disease take its course. Uh, Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia, and uh, dementia is not only a disease that affects the elderly population, we do have evidence that early dementia in patients who are in their 50s who still have long years to live and enjoy and, offer, and also offer the society, and we need to encourage every patient who has potential potential diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease to seek medical attention before it's too late.